Hello and welcome to another video with Hot Tech Tips, hottechtips.com. Today we're going to take a look at a function in Excel that uses a trigonometric function of the tangent of an angle. And in our example here, we want to learn how to use that tangent of the angle to determine the height of an item, for instance, the height of this tree. This is an example of how trigonometry is useful in real life because you could do this in several ways. Say you wanted to know how tall a building was. You would just have to know how far you were from the edge of the building and the angle that you were looking at to the top of the building or in this, this case the top of the tree. And you can use the trigonometry functions to figure this out. Another example, say you were a mock a model, mock, uh, model rocket enthusiast and you wanted to know how high your model rocket had traveled. Well, if you know how far you're standing away from the launch pad for the rocket and then as the rocket flies up and reaches the apogee to turn over, you just freeze this angle and you can do this with um, there's an app for your phone like a bubble level app and you can just follow that on your smartphone lock it in at the top of the rockets uh, arc and then use this trigonometric function formula we're going to use and you can tell how high your your rocket had traveled but we're going to use it right now just to say how tall is this tree we have somewhere say we're out in the, some property and we want to have the tree fall down but we want to know how tall it is so we'll know where you know how much uh, damage it's going to do when it falls down which way we want it to fall so in this example we're standing 71 feet from the tree the center of the tree on level ground and when we look up using our smartphone or even a protractor that's been turned around upside down on a, on a piece of wood with a reference stick you could get this angle and for this example the angle is 31.8 degrees so let's create this formula the first thing we're going to do is it's a real simple formula which is basically the base or this adjacent part of the angle you see here is a little indicator that this is a right triangle so right triangles have trigonometric functions that are pretty easy to use. And this is called the hypotenuse, the long angle. I mean the long side, the opposite side, and the adjacent side to this angle. So the formula is you take the adjacent side times the tangent of this angle. And that will give you the height of the tree. So let's just build that right away. Now one thing to understand is that in Excel the um, trigonometric sine, cosine, tangent they are expressed in radians. So you have to convert your angle to a radian for it to work properly within Excel. So our formula will be 71 times the tangent of the, of the radians of our angle, 31.8. Close those two off. And one more. So when I hit enter here, this should first of all convert our angle of 31.8 to radians and then use those radians into the tangent function and multiply that times 71. Hitting enter, 44.02187. So this tree in this example would be approximately 44 feet tall. So, if, for instance, let's say that when you looked at the 
we'll just do another couple of uh, of degrees here. Let's say that this was well. Let's change this. Let's change our formula so where we're not using absolute numbers, but we're using the cell references of a six and a nine. So we'll go up here and say this first one is a six. And then our second right here will be A9. And we still get the same information. So let's say if we did this and our angle was 40 degrees, do you think that will increase the height of the tree or decrease the height of the tree? So we're standing right here looking at 31. You know, of course, our angle can go anywhere between 0 and 90 degrees. So let's say if it's going to increase to 40 degrees, that means the tree is going to be taller. So we should expect this number here to increase above 44, and it does, increases to 59. In the same way, if this number was... So you're standing 71 feet away and you have a very small angle of like 15 degrees. Then the height of the tree would only be 19 feet approximately. So this is one of the functions of Excel that's called the tangent. Remember that the tangent, sine and cosine all use radians. So you have to convert your degrees into radians. So thanks for watching this uh, hot tech tip. Tune in for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks a lot.